Welcome guys! Today I'm having a closer look on the shotguns of PUBG. The shotguns received some changes in the big balance patch that recently hit the game. The damage has been increased when hitting the limbs. The damage of the 686 and the 1897 was reduced by 1. And the pellet spread was reduced by 25%. This video will examine the pellet spread and compare it between all the primary shotguns using all available attachments and aim to find the most accurate shotgun available. And since this video is about primary shotguns, this sawed off shotgun is not included in this video. First we'll start by busting a myth, because a lot of people think that going ADS or aiming will increase the accuracy of a shotgun. This is not correct and when you think about it, it wouldn't make any sense anyway. The pellets will always have the same spread regardless of going ADS or hip firing. The first shotgun to be tested is the S686 using no muscle attachment. And all of these tests are performed on a distance of approximately 13 meters. On this distance most pellets will actually hit the enemy. However a lot will still miss the target. But what if we attach a choke to the shotgun? The purpose of the choke is to reduce the pellet spread of the shotgun and that is very obviously also what's happening here. Now almost all the pellets are hitting the target, giving almost perfect accuracy on this distance. When comparing the test without any attachment and the test with the choke, the improvement is huge. The choke significantly improves accuracy and makes the shotgun deadly accurate on up to 10 meters, as all pellets would hit at this distance. And a new duckbill attachment cannot be attached to this shotgun. Now to the S1897. The first test is performed without any muzzle attachment. We do see a very similar pellet spread as we did with the 686 and we will compare those later in this video. Now testing using the choke. And again almost all pellets are hitting the target when using the choke. But now it's time to test the new duckbill attachment that will lower the vertical spread while increasing the horizontal. Very obviously the attachment is working as intended by flattening the spread while maintaining a tight vertical spread. However, when comparing all the S1897 attachments, I really have a hard time to see why you should use the duckbill. The choke seems like a much better choice as more of your pellets would hit where you aim. The duckbill would be better for hitting multiple enemies at the same time though. But honestly, if you go up against multiple enemies at the same time using a pump action shotgun, the pellet spread is probably the least of your concerns. Finally, let's test the S12K, first with no attachments. Worth mentioning here is that the S12K unfortunately cannot attach a choke. In the no attachment test we again see a very similar spread to the other shotguns. The duckbill is next to be tested on the S12K. Again we see a very similar pellet spread to the one we saw on the S1897, but the duckbill might actually have a place on the S12K, because you can't attach a choke and the no attachment pellet spread is quite significant. I can also think of a situation where you would rush a building using the S12K and also here the duckbill could come in handy to give you that extra accuracy. The S12K can also attach regular assault rifle attachments, however these does not affect the pellet spread and will only affect the recoil, flash visibility and the sound of the weapon. It's now time to do the final shotgun comparison. Without any attachment, the shotguns have a very similar pellet spread and there are no mention worthy differences to be found. Comparing the choke, we see the same result. The pellet spread is the same regardless of weapon which is also the case with the duckbill. 
However, there is a tiny hint that the duck build might be slightly better on the S12K. But in order to be sure of this, you'd need a much higher sample size than I'm using in this video. So in conclusion, all shotguns have the same accuracy. The accuracy is only affected by the choke and the duck bill, and all of the attachments behave the same way on all the shotguns. Now that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, subscribe to the channel for more of the latest PUBG knowledge, tips and tricks. And I'll see you guys next time.